Hi everyone! My latest project was finishing the install of my tiny wood stove. When the house arrived, some of the install had already been done, uh, but I had to finish it in order to use it. As you can see, it was met with some challenges. No. <laughs> I'm Desiree, and welcome to Honeysuckle Homestead Retreat. Okay, so here's my wood stove, and I know that it looks finished, but it actually isn't. And I apologize for the mess in the back there. So, well, for one, I don't believe there's been any cement put around here. Um, so I need to detach this and actually cement it. Um, these are not opening and closing smoothly, so I gotta fix that. It's the way that it's uh, resting on top of it. This is fine. This is fine. All that's fine. So, I just need to reposition the stove a little bit and I need to check the clearances again. Um, it has to be, the back of the stove has to be nine inches away from here because I have a heat shield on the stove itself. So I don't have to have a heat shield back there. I will have to have a heat shield around these pipes, which we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, but for right now, all I'm working on that I really want to accomplish is getting the cement in there, making sure these pipes are all good, and then doing the exterior stove pipe. That's what I have on the agenda for today. If I'm able to get to uh, this heat shield, I will. But if not, we'll save it for a little bit later. All right, so let's see if this works. Yeah, it's um, loosening up very easily, actually. Okay, great. So this way I'll be able to take the pipe out. And then I can loosen this one as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the entire stove this way. Uh, so I can get this off. Okay, great. And no, it has not been cemented, <laughs> clearly. Um, I ended up buying the cement. It did come with the stove. However, I, it got lost in transit somewhere, so I had to buy more. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fix the problem of these guys not opening and closing properly. Um, and I also need to get my measuring tape. So I just need to position the stove a little bit. Um, I know that's what the holdup is, because I remembered that from when I was putting it all together. This thing is very heavy, by the way. So let's 
see how this works. This is on too tight, that's the problem. So how this works is these cover up these holes and these are intakes. Got some crud in them. And that controls the air that goes into the stove. So it's very important that these are loose and I can actually use them. So the question is, do I want to leave this on there for a possible future? Um, air intake control from the outside or do I just not worry about it <laughs> the other problem that with this guy and the exterior air intake is that um, the shields cause it to not fit properly so that's a concern um, I actually may not worry about it. I'm not super worried about efficiency in here because this place is going to heat up so fast anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and measure the distance from the back of my stand. Okay. It is exactly nine inches. Perfect. And then from this side, well, this side doesn't matter as much. It's 14 inches. It only needed to be eight from the sides. Now I'm going to put this back on the stand. This heavy, heavy stove. I want to make sure it lines up perfectly. There we go. I'm going to be able to turn that one a little bit. Not right. And voila, these work, which is very important. <laughs> Okay, so it says one to wear protective eyewear and gloves. I'm supposed to cut the tip to desired opening. I'm supposed to dampen the area with water and apply the minimum amount of cement required into gasket channel. Then press the gasket firmly into cement. Close the door to ensure a good seal. Then trim excess gasket. Allow to air dry for one hour with the door open. And then within 30 days, start a fire and gradually increase the heat to 500 degrees Fahrenheit to cure. Uh, so I'll damp, I'll damp it in here. Uh, okay. And I'll go ahead and dampen this as well. And it's at a minimal amount, so I guess I'll just put just a little tiny bit on it. for an hour with the door open. 
Um, I'm probably not going to mess with any of this until... Um, until that's dry. So we're going to let this dry for an hour. And then I will connect the rest of the pipes to it. Um, but for now, I'm going to close this up and then we're going to go outside and deal with the exterior pipe. 